Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. One of the basic tenets in sports is to keep your eye on the ball. I'm here to break that rule. Take your eye off the ball in this one and watch that trench warfare that's going to be going on on the lines of scrimmage. The offensive line against the defensive line. Two tough, hard-nosed, smash-mouth squads on both sides hoping to get the best of each other with a series of body blows. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. five-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 26. They come out on an empty backfield. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. Fourth down. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for, our player to watch this game. Wright's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's gonna get today, I don't think he's gonna have much of a problem with blocking them out and playing his game. That brings us second to Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Now he's scrambling. And he's sacked. Oregon's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Bright got a chance to angle it away from the punt returner here. Steps out of bounds at the 22-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Here we go, here we go. 
and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. A couple of yards at most on that pass. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Wheeler on the run, and the halfback's got nowhere to go. Fourth down. Duckett will be the return man. Duckett takes it to 36. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle after positive yardage. Good during game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. run to the outside. Nice third down yardage off the option, and more importantly, enough for a new set of downs. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. They'll get him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's get some points going right now. Not a lot of offense here in the opening quarter. I'm with you. I'd like to see a lot more offense than we've seen up to this point. Give credit to the defenses, but I think you're going to see both these offense coordinators get more of a feel for things and start to adjust their play call. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. He's taken down at about the 19-yard line. A one-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 19-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wideout. And they push him out at about the 35. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. Score. 
And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. They go with a toss. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. The Huskies had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Freeman is waiting for the snap. Duckett takes it to 21. He makes it to the 32-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He has some room. Gets out to around the 45. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. goes at the 41-yard line. First down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Roger, Roger. Check nine, check nine. Check, 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 check. Check 99. Check 99. Got his back, but he can't hang on. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 41. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's tackled at the 26. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Check, check, check. Check 99, check 99. He tackles him for a loss. And they make the stop around the 29 yard line. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully. It's nothing serious. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Here they come. Rose. And he's level at the five. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. made around the six-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings him second and goal. They're at the six. Second down. The Ducks quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. It's the 11th play of the drive. And 
they get the sack. You know, this corner has physical abilities that you're going to see at the next level. He can cover wide receivers. He can be physical against the run. But here he also shows an ability to pressure the quarterback off the blitz. That's a great play by him. They'll line it up for the field goal. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. Kick is up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Room around the corner. At the 30, and he just got drilled. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset, and they're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Steps up in the pocket. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Yeah, you know. Motion, motion, motion. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. Decides to slide. Sometimes you'll see a quarterback try to force the ball into coverage instead of tucking it and running for the marker. That time, he made the right choice to keep it. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. screen brought down at the 36 yard line the man defense proves to be too tough against the screen that was an excellent job by the defenders they fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop from the 36 yard line second down dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch goes out of bounds 23 yard line low scoring first half of play but a close game three nothing ducks glad to have you with us in the studio for the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense. So 
so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. Back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21. So we're just about ready to return to action. Oregon is up by three. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Roger, Roger. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. All day, baby. All day. Here we go. We know it's the way down. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Terry is back to receive. He dropped it. Whoa, he just took a licking. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Seven yard line. That makes it first and ten. Nice run there. That brings him second and five. the 21-yard line. It's third down. given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Oregon is up a field goal. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Mason, Mason, 
winds up second and one. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Runs right for a nice game. That brings us third and ten. first down so they'll have to punt this one away the offense really had nowhere to go the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt bright awaits the snap he's at midfield tries to get around the corner tackle made at the 49 this deficit can be easily overcome sure but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Swings it left. He's got his fullback. He's taken down. Right around the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. That's a great tackle at the 37. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. his way out to about the 25. yard line first down fires quick he's got another one tackle around the seven yard line that makes it second and six tries to buy some time and he can't get away from the pressure the protection broke down the defense was in the backfield in a hurry and they brought the quarterback down nice play That's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Ducks with a three-point lead.
Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Quick pass. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and it splits the uprights. Freeman looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's tackled at the 19. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Ready! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Makes it to the 25-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Terry takes it at the 43. Tackle at the 43 yard. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He scrambled. And he is drilled to 37 yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Just under three to go in regulation. He's scrambling. Dives forward. receiver and not to take anything away from the quarterback but the wide receiver made this play he makes the PAT a four play 43 yard drive and they get it in for seven the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off nice kick plenty of distance He's to the 20. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Oregon's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Now They've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He has some room. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. First down. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Gains 
his way to the 49-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Just over two minutes in the game. And he tackles him hard at the 43. That is a loss of six on the ball. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Blockers are running backs, got it on the screen, and down he goes at the 47 yard line. That'll make it third and 13. And he's tackled around the 42 yard line. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Wow, you just got to love it for this defense. They come up with the stop of the ball game and maybe the season. The defense holds and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Another run. And he's taken down at about the 33 yard line. The offensive line got a good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Washington is up by a touchdown. Wheeler gets the call again. Good outside run there. Oregon's called their final timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. This one's final. We had a tight defensive-minded game today. Scoring was at a premium. 10-3, Husky. Kurt, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Oh, there's no doubt about it. This was a huge upset, and there's no one to blame but themselves. Oregon did not play the type of game they're capable of playing, but you have to give credit to the other team. They showed up to play, and they weren't intimidated in the slightest. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.